Amen. To God be the glory for the things that he has done, giving our honor and glory to God the Father, his son Jesus, and recognizing our pastor and the, so, and the other pastors in their absence, and to each one of you, ain't God good, church. Amen. Ain't God good. Amen. Amen. Most of y'all, y'all got normal jobs, and you, when you got out of work, you came to the church house, I tell you, but for me, it's a blessing for me to come into the house of the Lord. I, I, I work with the dead, amen. So anytime I come in the presence of God, I am so thankful and so grateful. And I come to, to glorify and magnify his name because the Lord is good, amen. Who woke you up this morning? Amen. Called you in your right mind. Nobody but the Lord. So we come to give him all honor, glory, and praise. We want to welcome you all to our, our sixth annual session of the Monterey Bay Baptist District Association, where we come to praise and lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all gonna help me sing? Amen. Glory, glory. Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. Mm. Since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down. Glory, glory. Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. Since I laid my burden, let's do it again, church. Well, glory, glory, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down, my burden down, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I lay my burden. How many feel better now? Well, I feel better. Yes, sir. So much better. Since I lay my burden down. My burden down. I feel better. No, no, like they used to Since I laid my burden down My burden down Things don't hurt me Like they used to Since I laid Here's another thing Listen, listen Well Friends don't treat me, no, no, like they used to since I laid my burdens down, my burdens down. Friends don't treat me like they used to since I laid from the top glory. My burdens down, glory, glory, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I lay. My burden, burdens down, church. Mm, burdens down, Lord. Mm -hmm. My burdens down, Lord. Since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down, burdens down, Lord. My burdens down, Lord. Since I One more, one more, one more verse. Well, I'm going home to, mm -hmm, to live with Jesus since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down. 
I'm going home to to live with Jesus since I laid my burden down. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. We will have scripture from our own deacon and training brother, Roderick Gaines. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Psalms 150. Psalms 150. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God in the yes. sanctuary. Praise him from, from his tower. Praise him for his mighty acts. Yes. Praise him according to his greatness. Praise him with the sound of his trumpet. Praise him with his posturing heart. Praise him with the trumpet and dance. Yes. Praise him with string and his organs. Praise him with the loud sound of symbols. Yes, sir. Praise him with the high sound of symbols. Yes. Let everything I've read thank everything. you. Everything. Praise you, Lord. Right. So it's God's word. Tis the old. Ship of Zion, tis the old ship of Zion, tis the old ship of Zion. Get on board. Get on, get on board. She has landed, my dear mother. She has landed, my dear mother. She has landed. My dear mother, get on board, get on, get on board, and she has landed, my dear father, she has landed, yes sir. Let us pray. Most gracious and everlasting Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to see another day. We thank you for the day that almost passed and done. Yes, sir. Thank and you. Lord, thank you for keeping us. Yes, thank Lord. You. We know that it's not what we have done. No, but it's sir. by your grace and your mercy. Mercy. That brought us thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you everything that you have done in our life thank and what you, you continue thank to do. We thank you especially for the doors that you have opened. And we thank you right now for the doors that you're going to open you, in the future. Thank you. Lord, thank you for these people that are gathered here this evening. Thank you. As we stir back up the Monterey Bay District yes, sir. Baptist Association. Yes. Lord, we, we know it's going to be slow. Yes, that's all right. But let your will be done. Yes, sir. Lord, reigniting them the fire that they had before the pandemic. We know that the enemy tried to snatch out of our yes, grips. Yes, Lord. The, the fellowship that we have. We ask that you bring it back to us. As we get ready to enter this service this evening, Lord, we ask that your presence will be with us. We ask that someone who's in need of a, a spiritual blessing, a financial blessing, Lord, whatever their need is, Lord, we ask that you grant it to them. Lord, bless us in a way that only you can. Bless us abundantly, Lord. We'll be ever so mindful to give you all the praise, honor, and glory. This we ask in your name. Amen. Ship of Zion, tis the old ship of Zion. Get on board. Get on. 
Get on board. Hey, amen. Let the church say amen. 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 Give these deacons a hand. Amen. Give these pastors a hand. Amen. Now give yourself a hand. Amen. And let's lift up the name of Jesus. We are now in the hands of the pulpit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, deacons, for that devotion. Amen. Amen. It is wonderful to see you here this evening. This is the day that the Lord has made. And if you're going to rejoice in it with me, I'd like for you to give the Lord a hand praise. As we move back to regular, as we get back to doing things the way we used to do, and that's lifting up the name of the Lord, it is good to have you in the house tonight. We are glad that you are here. I'm going to do something a little bit different from our program. I'm going to give you the welcome now. You are a delight to our eyes to see in the house of the Lord this Thursday evening. We have come for no other reason than to lift up his holy and righteous name. You are uh, a delight to us that we can see you. And this is only the beginning. As we move forward and you tell somebody and you bring somebody, we're going to grow back to what we used to be. We're going to get back to praising the Lord and lifting up his holy name in the sanctuary. Amen. 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 And amen. Reverend Garrett, if you wouldn't mind, give us a prayer. Shall we pray? I need the oil. I need thee. All on three. I need thee. Oh, oh, bless me. Come on and bless me now, my, my Savior. Uh -huh. I, I come to. Our God, our Father, we come again before your presence with thanksgiving. And as we stand before you one more time, before we ask for anything, we want to tell you thank you. We want to thank you for our early morning rising. We thank you for laying us down last night and not killing us. But you decided in your own grace and your mercy to touch us one more time it's not because we've been so great or so good it's just because you're God all by yourself we want to tell you thank you right now we thank you for traveling grace we thank you for arriving mercy and we give your name all the praise we realize God it was not the cause that kept us protected it was not our own minds and our own uh, ability that kept us all day long. But uh, it was nobody but you. We come in one more time to tell you thank you. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for protecting us. Even when our food selves didn't know we were in trouble, you put your arms all around us. And we stopped by tonight to tell you thank you. Thank you, thank you. We want to thank you for this association tonight. Oh, yes. For God, uh, you took us through the pandemic. Thank you, Jesus. And here we are one more time uh, in the house of God. Thank you, we give you the praise tonight. Oh, yes, sir. It's not because uh, we took all of our medicine. It's not because uh, yeah, yeah. we had the right doctors, yeah, yeah. but oh God, uh, it was because uh, you kept us in your tender care. Thank you. We give you praise tonight uh, for Monterey Baptist Association. 
Thank you for our moderator and stirring up in him with a ready-made mind and a determined heart. We come tonight not worried about numbers tonight, but we just ask now in the name of Jesus that you will have your Holy Spirit in this place. If your spirit show up, uh, we know you show out. Uh, we come one more time. Uh, we don't need music tonight, uh, but we need Thanksgiving. Uh, we don't need anything else tonight. Uh, we just need our mouths. Uh, we don't need any symbols tonight. Uh, we put clapping in our hand. Uh, we put running in our feet uh, just to tell you thank you God thank you God and as you grow this ministry let our mind be on you God thank you for every pastor thank you for every preacher thank you for the minister thank you God if we had 10,000 tongues it would not be enough we just want to stop by for a little while and just holler thank you thank you God thank you God I owe you a praise I ain't waiting on nobody you've been good to us we tell you thank you now when our praying day is over can't come in this place no more come on into our dining room make up our dining bed we'll be careful to praise your name thank you in advance for what you're about to do we praise you tonight Even though we're sinful, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. you just keep on being the sovereign God. Oh, Lord. You do what you want, when you want, how you want. Oh, Have thine way. Oh, then if there be any jealousy, any spite, there's no room for that. We ask now that you will shower us with your blessings. And our praying day is over. We want to hear you say well done. We praise you tonight. We praise you tonight. We praise you tonight. Thank you for good doctor's report. Thank you for ups and downs. Through it all, I've learned how to trust in God. Come on and clap your hands and praise him one more time. first uh, official duty as first vice moderator, I picked the right man to call on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Garrett. Amen. 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 I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him, I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I love to praise his holy name. He's my rock. He's my rock. My rock, my soul, my Jesus. He's a will. He's a will. In the middle of the world. I know, he'll never, I know he'll never, never let me down. He's just a Jew, just a Jew that I have found. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 I love to praise his name. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Whoa, I love to praise his holy name. He's my rock. He's my rock. My rock, my soul, my 
He's a wheel. He's a wheel. In the middle of the wheel, I know I never. He'll never let me down. He's just a jewel. That I have found. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Whoa, I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise his holy name. If you love to praise him, give him a hand clap. If you love to praise him, make some noise. If you love to praise him, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We're not going to labor the hour. We're going to have. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to have the deacons come and we're going to take our offering. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Sir. Hallelujah. Father, we come now. Father, we come now. Thank you for the offer that has been received. We ask you to bless us all, bless us had 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 desire did not have. Father, we pray for you the man of purchase which we see, that some lost so we found, that you keep be glorified both heaven and earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen.
Father in heaven, Master, we have come now, Master, to say thank you, Father. Thank you for this opportunity to give, Father. We ask, Father in heaven, that you would bless the hands that gave, bless the ones who wanted to give but had not, Father. We ask, Father in heaven, that you let this offering be used for the glory and, and edifying of your holy name, Father. We thank you, Master. We pray and ask these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I want to remind you, those that are viewing by live stream or those that are, you are uh, tech savvy, that you can also pay using the Giblify app. You can go to uh, WW uh, Monterey Bay uh, District Association uh, and you can pay there with the Giblify app. Amen. 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 This time we're going to have Pastor Phillips come and bless our hearts with some music ministry. Amen.
name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Phillips, for blessing our hearts with that song. Amen. Amen. It is, it is preaching time. It is time for us to hear the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 And if y'all say one or two amens along the way, yeah. Pastor Lust ain't going to keep you very long. Amen. 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 Let the spirit of the Lord reign in this house right now yes, as Pastor Carter comes and introduces our speaker for the night. Amen. amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. I have the privilege of introducing our speaker. I have known him since he was about nine years old. About, about that long, huh? Uh, uh, I, I, I have loved him since he's about nine years old. We thank God for his mother. We honor the memory of his father and his brother, HH1 and HH2. Um, he just celebrated his fifth pastoral anniversary. We give God praise for that. <clears throat> and God ain't through with him yet. God is not through with him yet. He has been uh, deemed to declare the word of God, and so we're going to wait to hear a word, hear what God has to say through him. Let's give God a hand of praise. We thank God. I said we thank God for Pastor Harold Lust of Bethel Missionary Baptist Church as God uses him right now. Give God the glory. Give God another hand of praise. Yes, sir. First, give an honor to God, to moderator, uh, vice moderator, all the preachers that are here. Um, it's truly an honor and a privilege just to stand here and to preach tonight. Um, it's a privilege to be able to stand and preach God's gospel. Um, it's, it's not nothing that we should take for granted, and I truly know that I do not. Father God, we thank you now in the name of Jesus. We ask you, God, that you would be with us. Lord, we ask you would guide us and direct us. Lord, I ask that you would remove the carnal flesh individual of nervousness, of, of, of doubt, of, of frustration, of fear uh, from me right now in the name of Jesus. I admit it, and, and I claim it that you have the power to remove it. So God, I'm asking on your assistance now in Jesus' name. Lord, bless this word for these thy your people, me included, that we will be better after this word is preached. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Um, it seems that things going on in the world right now, everybody seems to have an answer. Um, text messaging, for example, if you need something said to you and you message someone, somebody's going to message you back. Um, sometimes the message is clear. Sometimes the message is acceptable. Most and a lot of times the message is something we don't want to hear. But in fact, the message is what comes to us tonight. I just want to ask a question and make a statement. The message is clear. Haven't you heard it yet? Turn to Revelations, the 22nd chapter, 16 and 17. Pastor Carter, I was going to sing a song. And then I heard my brother say, you ain't no singer, you're a preacher. <laughs> that, that's a laughing moment. Okay, stop for a minute. Uh, wave your hand. Okay, somebody didn't wave their hand. That must mean I'm looking at a ghost. All right. Uh, touch the person next to you. Touch them. They're alive, right? You're alive, right? So let's act like we are alive, right? We are in the house of God tonight. And there are many people that wanted to be here but could not be here. Just ask somebody. The text reads, 16, I, Jesus have sent my angel to give you a, this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. 17, the spirit and the bride say, come. And let the one who hears say, come. Let the one 
who is thirsty come and let the one who wishes take the free gift of the water of life. You may be seated. Look at your neighbor. Neighbor, it's clear. Haven't you heard it? Just come. See why I said, see, see why I said, haven't you heard it? Take your time, Harold. The reason I said, not too much time, but the reason I said, haven't you heard it? Because this is not the first time that all that I'm looking at has sat in the realm of a church to hear a pastor or an associate minister or a deacon or a Sunday school teacher talk about a man named Jesus. And the whole time I can remember, uh, Brother Keith, I'm, I'm only 24 years old, T, and in my 24 years, I always heard about a man named Jesus. And the message was, Savior who died, he's gone, and he's going to come again. The book of Revelations is the image and subscription of, of a sacred divine book. Hear it, listen. Particularly Ezekiel and, and, and Daniel. They parallel the events of Revelations. Let me just talk for a minute. Help me, Holy Ghost. I rebuke you, devil. In the Old Testament, the prophesiers were prophesying of the Jesus, of the Messiah to come. When they spoke about the Messiah to come, uh, they were also speaking of the book of Revelations. Because the book of Revelations is the conclusion of the Messiah's coming. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. For centuries, the church of God has found good counsel and comfort in the gospel of God. The text, the text, the scripture is very clear that salvation is by grace of God and not by keeping the law. Follow the laws of the land. But stopping at a stop sign and don't accept Jesus, you're on your way to a place called downstairs. It's called hell. No church, get this, is mentioned during the tribulation period and not even during the millennium. Mm. The church is not even mentioned as such in the new earth that is to come. Why, why, why? Because the church is based upon the people of God who have been called out. Now, when this, this takes place in Revelations and, and Jesus comes back, there's going to be no need of none of us to be called out. We are only going to be the ones chosen, and those that accepted Jesus can be a part of that great getting up party morning. Mm. Mm. We are the people who have been called out. Haven't you heard? Rest in it. If you don't get it, there's a place called hell. Moving quickly in the text. I'm going to point out three things. The first thing is the messenger. With the message carrier. The second thing is the message. And the last is why the free gift is for us. Hmm. The text says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. It is Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, who is sending the messenger to give us the message. Somebody saying, well, why didn't Jesus give it to us on his own? He's been doing it for 40 and two generations. Haven't you heard? Somebody still ain't listening. What saith the word of God unto the people of God? Let's talk about the messenger. I, Jesus, the rose of Sharon. Rock of ages, Christ, the ruler of all judgment, uh, the messenger, Christ, the author and finisher of your faith, the, the holiness of all people, Christ, he, he, the one that says, let it be, and it is so, Christ, the entrance into heaven and the full confirmation of truth as to how we get into heaven, Christ, alone contains the title and the evidence that confirm the state of holiness and happiness that remains for his people. Not just here down on earth, but happiness when you get in heaven. Christ, the root of all things. Revelations 22 and 16 says, I am the root, the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Christ, 
the cause of all things. Matthew eleven twenty four. Therefore, I say to you, all things for which you pray, ask and believe that you have received them. It didn't say you're going to receive them. It said ask and believe that it's already been given unto you. And that shall be granted. Christ. Last thing I want to tell you about him. John 15, 1 and 2. I am the true vine. And my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes it. When you prune something, you take a good look at it and you take good care of it and you spend time when the sun is out, you put the sun hat on. But you continue to prune. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. So that it will be even more fruitful. He is the morning star. The foundation of all light. Given to the churches by the way of fulfillment prophecy. Hmm, now let's talk about the carrier. It's time to move on. The carrier, the carrier, the carrier. The carrier, an angel. 2 Peter 2.11. Angels are beings who have greater power and ability than humans. They exist in heaven or in the spirit realm. Hmm. 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 Thus, they are also referred to as spirits. Anybody seen an angel? I know they cover us. But anybody seen an angel? Let me tell you what an angel looked like. An angel looked like when something was supposed to happen and you knew it was supposed to happen because you was right there where it should have happened and it didn't happen but you're still right there. That's the evidence of an angel. That's what an angel looked like. Uh, Job 1.6 says each of these sons of the true God were individually created. Mm, angels were created in the distant past before the earth existed. Mm, mm, mm. Well, let me get to the message. Come on, sir. It's clear. The message has come. Come on, sir. What the problem is? Come. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, come. come. Seventeen says the spirit well, and the bride say. So that means that daddy already gave permission. Because the spirit, the Holy Ghost, and the bride, Jesus, has said come. And in order for them to give this authoritative command and direction of request of union, God the Father must have already stamped it. Come, the bride in reference and relations to the church uh, has been given a direct call and to invite. Come. Uh, 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 wh wh why should you come? Because when you're out there, you're going to get messed up. And while you're out there getting messed up, still, you know what you can do? You can come. <laughs> Ask me why I can come. Because my God made a way for all comeability. Uh, uh, uh. Let me keep moving. Let me keep moving. Lord, say move. Lord, say move. Come. It says, those... Who are thirsty. Come. Sometimes. When you got to take a drink of something. Make sure it's the right something. But the last time I checked. When you're riding on the bumpy roads of light. You can't drink water while you're driving. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When you're driving in the car of life. You must stay focused. And when you become unfocused, you get in wrecks. Somebody's saying, well, I've been focused all my life. Why do I keep wrecking? The reason is you done got in the wrong car with the wrong driver and you're sitting in the wrong seat. Those who are thirsty. Come, Nehemiah 5, 9, 15. You provided bread from heaven for them for they are hungry. You brought forth water from a rock for when they were thirsty. And you told them to enter in order to possess the land which you swore to give them. Mm. You're thirsty. 
1 Corinthians 10, 3 and 4. And all ate the same spiritual food and drank the same spiritual drink. For they were drinking from a spirit, a spiritual rock, which followed them and the rock was Christ. So if you're still thirsty, the reason you can't thirst your quench is because you're following and you're standing on a weak foundation. Somebody need to be standing on the rock. Well, I think it's time to take this thing on home. The messenger was the angel. The message was come. But the man that sent the message was Jesus. And see, in order for Jesus to send a message, he needs some carriers of the message. Well, I'm wondering, is there anybody here ready to carry a message? Well, Pastor Dunham, it's time for me to go home. Time is winding up. I came in a little late. But it's time to take a seat. And it says in Romans 8, 36, 39, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all day long. And we as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us for I'm persuaded that neither death nor light nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor present things nor things to come no height no death no any other creature shall shall be able to separate me from the love of God. Ask me why. Because the Bible says he is the author and finisher of my faith. Ask me why. Haven't you heard? Haven't you heard? The message is still the same. He was born in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. Came down in 42 generations, had a stepdaddy named Joseph, a divine daddy named God, and a mother named Mary. He will do everything that he's supposed to do because my God is an awesome God. He is an excellent God, and I know that you can trust him. Ask me why. On a hill called Calvary, God got us here. They took my God and marched him up the hill, nailed him in his hands, nailed him in his feet. Yeah, he died. Yes, he died. But put him in a borrowed tomb. Stay there. Stay there three days. Yeah. And then he got up. Oh, power. Oh, 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 yeah! The message is clear. Haven't you heard it? But just wait and see. Don't live right and don't do right. One day he's coming back. the church say amen. amen the message is clear there's a song that said he was there all the time waiting patiently in line he was there all the time will you stand with me as we make the invitation Perhaps there's someone here tonight and you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You can't get there on what you heard. You've got to have a personal relationship 
You can't get there on mama's Jesus. You got to have your own Jesus experience. Are you here tonight? The doors of the church are open. Will you come? If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you can come tonight and we will pray with you the sinner's prayer. Open your heart and believe that Christ lives. He died for your sins and has risen from the dead and have given all of us eternal life that believe on his name. Are you here tonight? Anyone would like to accept the Lord Jesus Christ? If not, the invitation has been given. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Let's give this preacher another hand clap. Amen, amen. We thank God for the message. We thank God for the messenger. The message is clear. Amen, amen, amen. Before we dismiss tonight, we want you to hang on to your program so you can use them tomorrow. Amen. When you come tomorrow, amen. when you bring someone with you, we'll have a new program for them. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Tomorrow's schedule, as you can see, 10 a.m. registration. Um, there will be the devotional service at 11 a.m. We'll have a Bible study uh, uh, following the devotion period. Then we have music ministry, and then we'll have our message. Amen. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., uh, we had a good time this morning. No, no, no matter what the number was, we had a good time this morning. And so we're going to have a good time tomorrow morning. Amen. And, and we're not going to keep you long. We come to worship. We're not going to keep you long. So we come tomorrow morning and see us, and then tomorrow night, uh, moderators night, yes, we want you to come. The registration starts at 6.30 p.m., and then the devotional service starts at 7. Uh, we'll, we'll have uh, uh, some uh, music ministry in between, and uh, our uh, speaker yes, for the hour yes, will be our, our, our one and only moderator, Dr. Dr. A.D. Donham. Amen? Amen. 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 So spread the word. Spread the word. Amen. Let them know what we're doing. Uh, let them know that we are back uh, uh, lifting up the name of the Lord in fellowship together. It is our sixth annual uh, session of the Monterey Bay District of Baptist Association. So uh, we're starting off. Uh, let's keep it going. Amen. 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 Again, we thank you all for coming out tonight. Amen. 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 Dr. Thomas. Let the church say amen. amen. All day long, we've been with Jesus. We started out this morning. We had a great time this morning. Um, Reverend Huntley did a Bible study. He did a great job. Deacon Williams did a great job in Bible study. Uh, Reverend Grant, Pastor Granger preached a dynamic word this morning. And then we closed out this evening with a dynamic word with Pastor H. L Harold Lusk. Give God a hand of praise. So I've been asked, thank, can we give God a hand of praise for our moderator, please? I've been asked by the moderator to just uh, put this in the spirit of our pastors of the association. Um, we're requesting $300 from each church, if possible, each church is possible. That's for the year, that's for the year. We have our area-wide revival coming up in December. Uh, Dr. R.A. Williams will yeah. be back to preach for our area-wide revival. Uh, and so we want to keep enough money in our, in our bank account. We, we, we're, we're fine, we're fine, but we want to keep that going so we can pay the moderator what he is deserving of, also to house him and so forth. So we're asking the church to just do your part and just give what you can. If you can't do that, just do what you can so we can support this ministry. Give God a hand of praise. Thank God for our moderator. Amen, amen. Thank you, Pastor Carter. Pastor Pastor Carter, is my, he's my mentor. He's obligated to say something good about me. Amen. At, 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 least, at least in public. Amen. 
Amen. At this time, we're going to have Pastor Lust come in, give us a benediction, and dismiss us for the night. Remember, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Amen. Amen. Let church say amen. amen. Church say amen again. Um, I want to thank the moderator um, and, and for the opportunity um, and vice moderator, all the ministers here on the council, Pastor Murray. Um, um, you know, I'm just... I, Sister Dunham, it's like brain. Just I'm looking right at you. I know who you are. Okay, Sister Dunham, um, um, Mama, both the mamas right there. Um, New Hope and Bethel, um, Deacon Hill. Thank you for coming. My godmother, thank you for coming. All Bethel people, thank you for coming. Smokey, thank you for coming. You had an appointment. You showed up. Um, I want to thank everybody. Just just a child of God that came tonight, um, because you made a decision to do something better uh, than you did yesterday. Um, think about where you were yesterday at 7 o'clock, 7.30, 7.45, 8 o'clock. You probably weren't praying, praising, worshiping, or any Bible reading. <laughs> Keep it 100. So remember what we do and how we do it. Um, God is watching everything. Um, I want to say this, Pastor Dunham. I will not be here tomorrow. My son has a game, 7 o'clock, and, um, and he's getting some tug this time. So he's in the, in the, the, the you know, you know how you got the three and the, he, he jumped in the two spot of a three. He's like, Dad, I might get some runs. So you're gonna, I, I will be there with my sweatshirt on yes, and my hat on, just in, in saying, yay, 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 yay. Um, if you have children or grandchildren, time is winding up and running out. If you want them to know you and remember you, go spend time with them. Show up, don't just buy them something. Buy it and hand it to them and then give them a hug. Let church say amen. Is that all, sir? Can, Okay, let us stand so we can go home. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. Lord, we bless you, we glorify you, and we honor you. Take us from this place, God, but never your presence. Allow our night to be spiritually lifted. And the things that were burdening us before we got here, they are now released. And in the name of Jesus, when you walk out the door, you have the power for the shackle not to be on you anymore. Trust God in every step. Do what he says and watch the blessings of God in your life. In Jesus' name, all of God's people said amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Good night. Thank you.